how to coat your own plate and run an Invitrogen ELISA. Please make sure to carefully read and review your kit-specific product information sheet for detailed instructions before beginning the procedure. To coat your plate with capture antibody, start by diluting concentrated coating buffer according to the protocol. Then use the 1x coating buffer to dilute the capture antibody. We provide a recommended concentration, but you may want to optimize it for your particular need. Add the capture antibody to the wells of the plate and incubate it overnight at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius for absorption of the antibody. The next day, prepare wash and blocking solution. To prepare wash buffer, let the wash buffer concentrate reach room temperature and mix to dissolve any precipitated salts. Dilute the concentrate in deionized water as instructed in the protocol. Wash the plate either manually or using an automated plate washer. To wash manually, fill the wells with wash buffer. Allow it to soak as recommended in the protocol, then decant by inverting the plate over a sink or container and shaking the fluid out. Repeat the wash steps according to the protocol. After the last wash step, invert the plate and tap it dry against an absorbent paper towel. Do not allow the wells to dry. This washing step will be repeated throughout the protocol. Prepare blocking solution by diluting with water. Add blocking solution to the wells of the plate and incubate as recommended in the protocol. After incubation, wash the plate as previously described. You have successfully coated your plate. Now you are ready to run your ELISA. Reconstitute one vial of protein standard by following the provided instructions. Handle the protein gently and do not pipette up and down when first adding the buffer. Simply swirl and invert five times or very briefly vortex and let the standard sit for at least 10 minutes to ensure complete reconstitution. Perform a one to two serial dilution of the standard. Start by adding the appropriate amount of assay diluent into each tube. Then add the appropriate amount of reconstituted protein into the first tube. Mix thoroughly by pipetting up and down and changing pipette tips between tubes. Add standards, controls, and samples to the ELISA plate. Note that some samples may need to be pre-diluted and some protocols may call for a sequential or co-incubation step with the detector antibody. We will show you an example of a co-incubation protocol. Dilute assay buffer concentrate with distilled water. Dilute biotin conjugate concentrate with assay buffer. Add biotin conjugate to the ELISA plate. During this step, the biotin conjugated detector antibody will bind to the antigen at a different site than the capture antibody, creating a sandwich. Cover with an adhesive seal and incubate the plate. After the incubation is complete, wash the plate as previously described. After washing away unbound detection antibody, prepare Streptavidin HRP by diluting the concentrate and assay buffer. Then add Streptavidin HRP to the plate. In this step, multiple streptavidin binding sites may be present on each biotin-labeled antibody molecule, leading to an enzymatic amplification signal. Incubate the plate as recommended in the protocol. Wash the plate as previously described to remove any excess enzyme. Add the chromogenic substrate. The intensity of the color developed is proportional to the amount of protein present in the sample. Incubate the plate at room temperature in the dark for 30 minutes. To stop the enzymatic reaction, add stop solution. The solution will turn yellow. Measure the absorbance at 450 nanometers using an appropriate plate reader. Congratulations, you are now done with your ELISA. For more product information, go to the link on the screen. Or for technical questions, email our technical services team at invitrogenimmunoassays at thermofisher.com.